yo 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 what's up guys welcome back and as usual i'm going to answer some of your questions in this video so most asked question is when do i use the dis defensive instruction i only use it on full back left backs and full back right back but currently i'm using attacking full back and cross specialist cross specialist those kind of right back and left back don't attack like the full backs actually attack so robertson is attacking full back alexander arnold is cross specialist these kinds don't usually attack like full backs let me show you an example of full backs i used to use i used to use hernandez and rafael guerrero so you can see full back finisher this kind of left backs that guy just goes join the attack anytime he wants so <laughs> for this kind of left backs or right back you'd have to use defensive on them full back finisher specifically but for the attacking full backs those ones you can decide not to use defensive on them on on them and the other thing is how to train David Seaman. Trust me, guys, this is the best goalkeeper in eFootball I've ever used. Hands down, best goalkeeper. I have to find a way to clone this training guy to a different goalkeeper. This is the best goalkeeper ever. Hands down. I'm not, I'm not kidding when I say it's the best. Like, it's making some crazy saves that I've never seen possible in eFootball. This training guide will do wonders if you have this guy, David Seaman. I'll try a way. To find another goalkeeper that i can use this kind of training on him but it's impossible because this guy's gk awareness is very high and the catching his eyes to reach is also high and as usual this is one of the killer matches i played before reaching division 2 in this current state and here i'm going to show some secret tricks i've not shared in the previous video you are going to see practical applications of certain tricks i've talked about in the previous video inside this match opening it using 4141 zabi alonso so in previous videos i've talked about this kickoff glitch if you master it it's going to work for you like 90 percent of the times and easy easy guys easy guys this time around alexander del piero has the ball perfectly the way i want him to have it so the kickoff bridge works like this striker to amf to striker back to amf and then the key pass to your left winger forward that's if you are starting from the left side to the right side and the only thing you have to pay for is your left winger forward uh positions himself well and then get the ball well, that's the only thing you have to pay because it's going to work most of the time another thing is delays in e-football as i've told you guys in the previous videos just play e-football as if it's lagging up so that sometimes i just clear even if it's not lagging like i just clear because you never know when it's like it has started lagging but you guys might not see it's lagging but i'm seeing it's lagging so i'm just you know just <laughs> clearing it and then at certain situations i'll just play it but so always play it as if it's lagging and make sure that your player gets in contact with the ball before you give a command this match is actually one of my most killer matches like killer hands down hands down killer matches so move back with bullet and arnold as i've said this kind of players don't attack like you see you see Alan, arnold is coming this situation is very hard to defend see a striker is in front of me and i <laughs> it's very hard to trust me it's very hard to defend such situations and see the amazing save by david seaman that he managed to equalize i consider that because of a mistake i made now let's try kick off glitch again two left finger for it please let's let's do justice and two uh damn that wasn't the name ground where that ball like it would have been a fast equalizer okay so to bring it to abraham playing with abraham this match is really lagging so i'm not going to do that mistake that i did that thing is when keza switches to your defender it's very hard you have to switch the keza back but i delayed now i've given him a free space at scoring me and like <laughs> The only thing you can do is just call David C man, but he managed to score the second one. Let's try again, but I'm going full level 2 attack. Like this match is really lagging, really lagging, like terrible. Let's call this and tell me again, you are the good deal. You are the good. <laughs> 
so yeah that's how the kickoff glitch works and move backwards clear because it's lagging as hell you'd have to you know be smart when the ball is in the air usually you'd have to give multiple pass commands so that it doesn't lag you but my player that should receive this pass went too far too 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 far now defending this kind of attack when it's lagging is very hard you have to double tap and you know trust that your defender would make the matchup but they failed because it was lagging and when it's lagging it's very hard to defend against such wide attacks i tried my kickoff glitch it didn't work i did it too fast because it's lagging and when playing lagging lucky matches or oh, you'd have to just you'd have to be very very smart and that's a brilliant save, save by david seaman guys like 100 percent david seaman is the best gk i've ever used so switch i, I wanted to switch case up but it turned to a pass quickly now you'd have to be like very 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 tiny very very tiny when playing laggy matches very very timely like quick decision making that's the secret to winning this kind of matches so i i cancelled the shot over there then went ahead to do a standing cross for standing cross you have to quickly tap time. the left side before you cross quickly tap the left yeah it has to be very very quick tap left side before cross tammy abram should score this but Opponent didn't allow my Tommy Abram to cook. We're gonna try it again. If your player has low passing values, let the cross go into the middle. And still, I couldn't cook. I couldn't cook. Play the standing shot over there to avoid conceding a quick counter. This is the second half. Let's go. Go backwards. Make sure you're in front of your opponent's CF. As you can see, I'm bringing my the player brought back in such a way that it's easy in front of the opponent player now do double pressure to do double pressure you'd have to slide on the right side like swipe it down slide now to bullet to abram and i wanted to give it a key pass to bullet but it delayed so we bring abram back at the same time defender won the ball instantly bring back clear again so that's the strategy now switch sometimes you have to switch to a middle player switch to build it you want that ball successfully now abram two pass two low no mercy <laughs> what a fantastic match some few moments later i got a chance of attacking and with the passing you'd have to just take the risk like just take the risk sometimes two pass would work instead of the lofted pass like i just take the risk and this is a corner i hope tammy abram does something ha 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 tammy abram did something in the end and it's currently 4-3 so as i was saying with passes you just have to take the risk it's not something guaranteed that if you do a pass here it will always work it's a risk depending on like how the matches is it lagging also just take the risk sometimes true pass sometimes level pass but most of the time i take a true pass risk i do true pass most of the time and it ended 4 3 and guys that's it for this video thanks for watching like share join telegram channel link inside the video description i'm gonna see you in the next one peace out